Libra, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. As the cards come out, they're going to fall in three different sections. Either current events, which I will unravel for you. Past, which always has impacted the current events or it wouldn't come out. And future, which we'll get into. And there's always an extended. So you can continue the meaning and go deeper with me. And that link is down below in the description box. I also attach it to the end of this video up above. And I'll pin it to the top of the comment section as well. Remember, if this isn't resonating with you, then check out your rising sign, your sun sign, your moon sign. They could all resonate with you. But in the end, this is your reading. It comes to you at the time you're meant to hear it, whether it's the second after I upload it or a year or 10 years later. It's your reading. So please take all the examples that I give and apply it to where in your life it resonates. Um, I will go over the astrology. I'll be sprinkling the astrology throughout. There's, God, at least six cards in front of me right now but the astrology is quite is quite challenging but also exciting um venus has been squared to jupiter for a while now and it's going to remain for basically this week um it's in a stretched kind of loose conjunction with mercury mercury goes into capricorn on tuesday venus finally makes it to capricorn this coming saturday so that'll take a big mm for you right because the energy will change it'll change from a fire sign where things are free and easy and far more compatible with air to an earth sign which is difficult energy for air because it doesn't move around it's not as flexible and it's a little bit too too practical for enjoyment purposes but the thing is this venus square jupiter is a very enjoyable energy it's a very magnetic energy so when you look at the chart venus is square jupiter and quincunx to uranus which means there are so many changes that are coming to you in your life right now that you won't be able to anticipate and that the universe wants to surprise you with and the only reason that would happen is because it's testing your integrity. Not really testing as in a pass-fail. It just wants you to see how strong you are. It just wants you to see how capable you are. And remember all the lessons that you've learned. Because when Venus goes into Capricorn, it's a very strong energy, actually. A very powerful push of energy that you'll get when it comes to determination and certainty about yourself and which direction that your life is going. So there could be a lot of clarity that comes to you now, as well as a strong business sense, the ability to sell things and get things moving and build out in the world. What you are building out in the world, there could be contracts coming your way, not in a bad way, in a good way. Um, so there could be some happy curveballs being thrown at you right now. Um, that I don't, I don't think that will be totally bad, except that they're not necessarily what you expected. So I would dare to say that you have to stay away from expectation here, because any time your ruling dignitary is anywhere near Uranus, Uranus doesn't like to be figured out. It likes to be the curveballs. It, it likes to throw curveballs at you. And the fact that there's a square to Jupiter just means this is all part of sort of fate or destiny or whatever you want to call it. Your life changing. You know, if, if you could feel a mentality or an influence that's come over you lately that you just want things to be different or let's grow, let's change, I'm ready for it now. I believe, honestly, it's going to come your way by the time or while Venus is in Capricorn. There are some beautiful things that are happening toward the end of this month. Um, Mercury goes into retrograde at the very end of this month. We might be able to still feel a little bit up with that. And since Venus is still in a loose conjunction, it's still within five degrees of Mercury. The two have just been sort of traveling buddies. It might be wearing a little thin right now, but ultimately I feel like it, it, there's a sense of maybe your mind slowing down. So you not in a bad way, but in a way that you can actually start to catch the thoughts and realize what's important and what's not. 
Capricorn energy will definitely make you more selective when it comes to quality over quantity. So in that way, it is very compatible with Venus when it comes to let's, let's, if we're going to spend, we're going to spend on quality. I'd rather have, you know, one $20,000 Louis Vuitton bag than go for a shopping spree in Walmart because what's the fucking point? You know, it's almost like go big or go home kind of energy that's kind of going to be impacting you right now and I do think there will be a much like a turn of events in terms of a more practical minded sense of where you want to put your energy right now even in your relationships which can be very good because there's been it's very emotional this is going to be a very emotional um full moon that's coming up on Wednesday it's a full moon in Gemini um which is always a trine to your first house but Mars is there too <laughs> just it's just gonna be an emotional full moon and I think by the end of this week when Venus goes into Capricorn it'll actually the pragmatism of Capricorn the ability to be objective and just focus on what needs to get done is going to help you out a great deal to actually get things done the good news is that Jupiter has been for a while now at least a week or so week and a half been squaring Venus and that just means expansion and growth and change. So let's get into the cards. Let's look down, shall we? Um, let's see. See, I, I haven't actually seen them yet. As you can see, this is over toward the future. This is kind of a gangle here in the middle. But there's a card that starts here. Think on your feet. You had to improvise a lot. Happy birthday, Dick Danny, 623. You've had to improvise a lot. Um, there was no expectation. Maybe this was a practice round. This was also Sagittarius season. It almost seems like this week you're sort of leaving Sagittarius season behind, even though, because for the most part, you've been in Sagittarius during Sagittarius season. And when, when the sun went into Sagittarius, I think Venus and Mercury went in the same day or the day later. So for the most part, you've definitely been in Sagittarius mode, but Venus is about to leave. And it's almost like you're already putting that behind you. You're putting the, you're putting, you're putting the need to travel, explore, and ask questions behind you. It's almost like now you want to get to work. Think on your feet is behind you. That could be very good news, but let's see what's coming. I laugh because it could be very good news. There's a lot of ambiguity in the air right now in that even though it's going to be a very emotional week, um, it may not be bad. It, it could bring about a lot of really wonderful things. It's just how you hit the ball that's pitched to you. We have love is all around. So people that were expressing love or giving love to you, it's kind of slumped over. This is Gemini energy. There is a sense, there could be a sense of not being, yes, it's almost like, hmm, I don't know. It's pointing to the future. Let's just hold on for a second. Truth transcends illusion. So the truth coming out, watch the Scorpio energy because that was had a lot to do with it. People that are sort of blowing smoke up your ass or have been giving you lots of compliments, the truth about that or the truth about a friendly offering, it's on its side. So it's not like it's necessarily malicious. It's just what is it going to do for you? Like where, where, what is it going to bring you? And that could be a change in your mentality as well. This sense of, well, I want to know if this is going to be advantageous for me. And that doesn't make you a greedy, selfish motherfucker. It makes you down to business. It's like, you're tired. Like, don't flatter me. Get it done. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's like flattery won't get you far this week. It's really interesting because Libras usually love flattery, but ultimately it's like you're, you're not right now. It's like, I got too much shit to do. Um, love is all around the truth about feelings. <sighs> Let spirit be your guide and be loyal to what you love. This is, this is a sense of, um, prioritizing your family. I think maybe some other things that were more superfluous or more fun um, are going to be put on hold because there's something here with regards to the family that needs to be addressed or paid attention to. Um, let spirit be your guide. Faith is going to be one of your best allies this week. Um, it's just going to be. <laughs> um, truth transcends illusion. That means there's something coming out. There's something, there's a, a notable truth 
that is going to be told. Let spirit be your guide is faith and be loyal to what you love. Lots of times our behavior dictates our reality. So there's a sense of being loyal is what you need to be right now in order to get the truth delivered to you in a way that you can use it. I know that sounds weird. Let's turn over this card, which is the only one in the future right now. Sing your own song. So this is about claiming independence and also being happy. As soon as I saw this card, there's happiness that's coming in the future. There's almost like um, joy or being able to spread good news. Um, it got a little murky here. <laughs> there was a cascade action happening, but it's almost like, will you end up in a place where you will be proud of yourself this week? Will, where you will like what you see. Sing your own song means yes. I can. It's weird because I can hear a bird chirping right outside my window. And I think that that's just so weird because of the reading that I'm doing for you right now and, and everything. Hold on, let me just get that for you. Um, sing your own song. I want some details. Why is love is all around? Why is that? Was there a gathering that you were guys gonna, that you were having? No, that's Gemini. Short distance travel, the truth coming out, everybody being able to see, and something about family gathering around and being together. We have Knight of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Stop, you're taking action on some sort of business deal. You're taking action on some sort of job or career because she's a boss lady, career minded. And then we have taking action, like having passion, moving forward with it, just moving forward with some sort of business action, being able to move forward with some sort of business action while simultaneously being true to yourself and true to your family. It's almost like you're, you're taking people that you love with you as you grow. There is a family situation here that you're going to have to get through, that you're going to have to you're going to have to take care of first. Because I can tell you right now, if you don't, then you will not enjoy the success that comes to you. It'll have a bitter taste in your mouth, because you'll have a bitter taste in your own mouth. You'll be sort of disgusted with yourself. So don't think of whatever it is that you have to do to take care of your family. Don't think of that as a distraction absolutely use it as a priority. It will generate positive energy that will help to bring about even more positivity back to you. So you can finally, you'll finally, it's almost like you go, you go away from home to be uncomfortable, to take care of somebody that you love, to take care of somebody that you care about, take care of these issues. And when you come back home is when, wow, I got good news. Good news is sitting there waiting for me in the mail. So this is all happening this week. And right now, this week is about prioritizing that family situation that you have to prioritize. Especially when Venus goes into Capricorn. Capricorn is about taking responsibilities seriously and doing the mature thing. Um, now, because Jupiter is still uh, is still square, it could be it could be expanding and developing, or or growing and helping your family build out into the world, or your family helping you. Either way, that has to happen before this success of sing your own song of look, I'm independent now, I'm very happy on my own now, or. Um, I've got good news to share with you all. As I look back, I got good news. I've got good news for you. Okay, so let's say, what is this good news? What is this good news? Ten of Pentacles, there's money coming in. I don't know from where, let me ask. Let's go. Um, how is there money coming in? How is there money coming in? How is there money coming in? Ten of Swords is in reverse, which is good because any kind of unhappiness or 
sort of uh, like it's 10 of swords is good but it's like the star card is in reverse as well which is usually delusions or not living up to your expectations and bad timing or poor timing or things being unbalanced and but the 10 of swords is almost like that's over with all of that is over with like the bad times the hard times the painful times is over with i said how is it coming to you Ah, something that you thought was going to go really, really badly isn't. Yeah, I think that you were predicting the worst case scenario on something because it was bothering you. It was disturbing you. It was scaring you. Um, you've been, you're very vigilant, uh, vigilant here with um, hawk spirit and dog spirit. There's like, it's like you're hawkeyeing your family or people that you consider family or something, something with a maternal issue. You're, you're hawkeyeing it. It's almost like you're being very protective right now. And something that you thought was going to be the worst case scenario is not it's actually going to work itself out I don't think it's the right timing for terrible things to happen but what is this ten, ten of pentacles how is this coming how is this coming to Libra how will this come to Libra um how that's not an answer ace of swords it's just realization that four of four of pentacles is almost like realizing that you haven't been getting anywhere because you've been worrying too much. You haven't been getting anywhere because maybe you've been over prioritizing these particulars. And now you just have to like let in other words, this distraction from whatever you're dealing this distraction and whatever you're dealing with. It's like your mind needs distraction in order to let the abundance in. So focus on the distraction for a second so that so that this fucking goddamn abundance can come the fuck in because you've been so paranoid and working so hard and overworking everything. You've been creating a vacuum around it and stressing out the situation. And what you need is just to sit back and let it go to give it room for the abundance to come in. It's almost like you're realizing that true value, that true value is found in the people that you care about. And whatever it is with this business has been deprioritized. But what's the Four of Pentacles out here for? Hanging out with a family or hanging out with people that you care about, they could actually help you figure out why things have been so stalled. Yeah, it's like the blessings come in, in in ways that you think, oh, I'm distract. I'm. It's gonna distract me. It's gonna take time. Maybe maybe you have to take time off work. Do it. Do it. You're be. You feel like you're being misled. You're not. Nine of Swords is here. Sickness, loss, death, sadness in the future. It's almost like it's starting to, something's starting to be very clear to you about like something that, something that you're going through right now is starting to make something very clear to you, realizing what you have to change. It's almost like the ghost of Christmas future. This sense of this bad thing could happen if you don't reprioritize. But at least it's clear, you know, it's like, it's like when Scrooge woke up on Christmas morning, the bad thing didn't really happen. Bad thing averted. But the fact that he felt like it did or he felt like the worst case scenario was going to happen is what inspired him to change for the better. And that change for the better, like focusing on like I said, what is truly valuable, what it's, it's, it's quality over quantity. And that could be quality time with the people that you love. Is this a good time for love? Is this a good time for love? The hermit is here. So no, it's a good time for introspection. It's a good time for working on something. Yes or no, though? Is this a good time for love? Libra and love. Let's get a moon card because the full moon is coming. What can we expect on this full moon? Something in the past comes out, which makes sense because Mars is in retrograde. There's a lot of information coming out. 
and Virgo energy is here doubly. You are good enough. So it's work that you've done in the past that I think you're finally being recognized for. People are all of a sudden becoming clear on what you've done. So in other words, let yourself deal with whatever emotional stuff you have to go through because the hard work is already done in terms of career. Let's go back and just see what came out. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. This is in the past. This imbalance, not finding somebody who is your equal or who was appreciative of you or who wanted to do fair work or fair share or who wanted to partner with you, sort of just that being tipped over and all of that imbalance that comes out in the past, could have been a while ago too, is like the diligence that you maintained. The diligence that you maintained is what is really, really bursting through now but this nine of swords over here I just want to be sure why is this coming out why is I think that you're thinking that the worst thing is going to happen and it's not what does this mean though give us a little glimpse oh we have the knight of cups there's an offer of love coming there's an offer of appreciation and it's also proceed in faith because even though you think the worst case scenario is going to happen, it isn't. Let's go deeper. I can't wait. The extended link is down below. I'll see you guys there. And please do join me for the daily tarot card reading on my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation. I'll attach the link above. I'll see you guys in the extended.